I want to speak to you briefly from the subject, the coat. Ah, the coat. I, I want to talk about the coat that you're wearing. And then I want to ask you a question as we navigate through here. Um, why are you wearing that? Why are you wearing that? And do you know what it is that you're wearing? Why are you wearing it? And really, what is it that you're wearing? Because see, many of us think that we're wearing a coat. Many of us think that we're just walking around and all oh, this ain't nothing. You know, uh, there's no harm, no foul, no harm. No harm, no foul. Okay, but, but we don't understand that there's some significance behind what it is that you put on every day and you drape yourself in. There is some significance to it, whether you understand it or not. You wear it because I, I, I promise you this, the enemy knows. The enemy understands. And not only does the enemy know, it's people around you that know. The, there's a system. There is a structure in place that, that, that their whole plan, their whole disposition is to hold you into a certain place. So it's important that you understand what's inside the thing that you drape yourself with. What's on it? What is it that you're putting on and that that maybe you're embracing or that you are a, you are a part of and you proud of every day? You walk down the street with your head up, lifted up, shoulders square, and you got this thing on that's saying, this is me, this, this is me, this is me, this is me. I'm proud of it. Stay with me, we're going to go somewhere. We, we're getting ready to ride, Tonto. And, and so as, as I was traveling about a year ago, I had to present my, my, my passport. I was on my way to London and, and I had to go through Canada to get there. And, and as we landed in Canada, we had to go through a thing called customs. And as we navigated through customs, we got to a checkpoint and a checkpoint at that checkpoint, there was a man that was there. He wanted to make sure that we were authorized to travel. And how was that? There, there had to be some form of identification that would authenticate you to go from point A to point B. Because if you didn't have that, uh, they was getting ready to call the authorities on you. They was getting ready, that you, you, you was getting ready to be in some trouble. And that wasn't going to be a good day. And so here, back, back Bible customs, during that time, it was customary for the blind man, the beggar, he was authorized to do it as long as he was identified by something. And that something was that uh, the government said that as long as you put this coat around you, long as you long as you cloak yourself drape yourself in this thing that we uh that we have set up this system because whenever somebody sees you they're gonna see it all on cnn msnbc fox news it's gonna be on the paper it's gonna be on the wide world web it's gonna be everywhere so so it won't be no mistake in, in the identity they, they, these coats that we that we have made and presented for y'all for such people like yourself they, they, they one of a kind they one of a kind so ain't nobody ain't nobody gonna walk past you and not know who you are not only are, are will they not be mistaken in who you are but they're gonna know whose you are mm. whose you are that 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 right there that's important that's important that's important that, 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 see, your identity is presented properly. I need to know who you are, and I need to know 
whose you are. In other words, and, and, and what sent you? What authorized you? How, how is it that you can hold your hand out and beg? Ah, I want to talk about the condition of the of the blind man, I, and I'm gonna save that for my next phase. But 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 it don't matter at this point why you were blinded and why you are on the corner and why you are going through what you're going through. The only thing that matters in phase one of this message is that you find Jesus. Ah, I feel feel good now. I'm starting to feel good. Ah. Because the reason why, one of the reasons why this is so important is because God is getting ready to, he's getting ready to breathe again. He's getting ready, he's getting ready to filter across this land. And it's going to be a whole lot of folks that have been cloaked in things that, that wasn't from God. Cloaked in systems and cloaked in structures that have positioned you in a place that is shameful, a place that is unfruitful and a place that, that is not productive, a place that is not a healthy witness. So, so, so we go through this process and understanding being validated and identified and a, a verified place of verification. Because of your condition, because you now, whether it was that you're blind and you can't help that, whether you're lame and you can't help that, whatever that is, and I get that, and we're gonna get, we're we gonna filter through that so you can understand that more fully. Because everybody that's blind ain't gotta be, and everybody that's lame, they ain't gotta be. But, 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 but because one day you held out your cup. And somebody jingled a little change in it, uh, you, you like that. And, and so you, you became accustomed to something that wasn't no good for you. And you came back the next day and you held out the cup again for another little jingle. And so you said to yourself, well, hey, this ain't too bad. I, I might as well do this every day. Now, now the Bible ain't talking about that kind of blind person, that type of lame person, that type of person that is a need. That ain't that, that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna clear that up. Because that ain't what that ain't what this is all about. This person was legitimate and he needed help. He needed somebody to guide him and to lead him. So so he had to make sure, oh my God, I, I just heard a whole different whole different message. Let me stay tracked. The details of the coat, the details of the coat, the details of the coat. The coat represents a system designed to enslave you, to enslave you. I, I, I want to position you to where this is all you going to get. This is all the higher you going to go. This is all the fast, fast, this is as fast as you can go. This is, uh, this is as far as you can dream. There is no vision. The, 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 the details of the coat to reduce you to poverty. To reduce you to poverty. Reduce you to shame. See, now, now I know that y'all said, well, the man was blind. I mean, you know, what, what else he going to do? I, I get all that, and I'm, I'm going to clear that up. Because everybody that's blind, literally, you ain't got to be shamed. But this was to, to psych, psychologically, to commit your, your emotions and your mind to a place of shame. This is what the structure is all about. This is the people that I'm talking to today who I'm trying to reach out because I'm talking to people that are blinded but can see. Ah, blinded, but I see. So, so, so the, the details of the code is to put you in poverty and shame and need or, or to put or, or to position you to, to beg, beg. 
Always, I need this. I mean, it should start to uh, clicking for you at this point. Y'all understand the government, don't you? Y'all understand Section 8? Y'all understand uh, 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 all these different programs that they got out there uh, designed to, to keep you in a certain place. Now, I understand that one... A lot of these structures and these systems systems was first set up. They weren't set up for you to um, uh, be on there forever. They weren't set up for that. But but some of us, because they gave you a little something in your cup, you came back the next day and, and God gave you a brain. God gave you a mind. God gave you the wherewithal, the ability that for you to be fruitful and for you to be a blessing and for you to be productive and all that. But because there was a structure, there was a system that got that got in your way and you embraced it. At this point, you said, you know what, I, I, I kind of I kind of like this a little bit. So so now it produces a dependency that that you set in every day. I'm dependent. I ain't got to keep on. I ain't got to spell it all out. Or we, we all know. And, 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 and again, I'm not I'm not knocking anybody down. What, I, what I'm saying is, is that I just want you to see something that <clears throat> that you need deliverance because anybody that that have eyes, but they still blind. They got eyes, but they but they still can't see that I can do better than what I'm doing, then that, that's a person that needs deliverance. That's a person that needs Jesus. They need to be they need to be set free. So 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 now let's let's uh let's let's identify the coat a little bit further. So so you can have a coat of you can have a coat of what about the coat of a man? Oh help me Lord I'm here in metal and make somebody mad. What about the code of a man? Oh, you say, well, Daddy, what? What do you mean a code of a man? Oh, well, the code of a man is the coat that the woman put on. She put it on and she wear it proud. It's the coat that says, where you going? Where you been? What time is it? You know that you should have been back by such and such time. Oh, it's a coat. It's the coat that you put on when you go out in the street and you say, "Oh, that that right there, that that's that's George. That's 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 George's wife." H how did you identify George and Tom and Bill's wife? How did you identify? You identified them by the coat that they was wearing. And when somebody else looked at that coat, and this ain't no coat that you know you proud of. This ain't you know Mister and Missus, and you proud of you free. In your home. Now, this is the code of bondage. This is the code is when you go out, you do what I say, when I say, how I say, all that. When you get home, I want you to cook, I want you to clean up, iron my clothes, wash my clothes, watch TV when I tell you to watch TV, and you know when I'm ready to, to do what I like to do, get on in there. That's that type of code. Okay? Uh, I, 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 I got eyes to see and I can look and I can see that there's a wall right there and there's a chair right there but, but I'm blinded to the system to the structure that has been placed on me and so I, I, I'm, a, I'm in bondage and I become dependent and now I can't move I, I don't have my own mind to be creative and unless you know Joe or, or Bobby or Tommy, and unless they give me permission, unless they tell me that I'm smart, unless they tell me that that I can do it, I I I can't do it. Why? Because I got this coat on. And it's the same way for a woman, because some women put the coat on men. It, it's the same. It you know it it, it it's a teeter totter. It goes both ways. It's just easy for me to talk about the perspective from a man because I am a man. Okay. You are watching the short version cafe and we will be right back.